that's my fam. I'ma hold them down forever. Us against the world, we can battle whoever. Together, ain't no way we gon' fail. You know I got your back, just like a turtle shit. What's going on, everybody? Thanks again so much for tuning in to the Clay Table. Again, your host, Alex Kaiser. And today we have Raphael from TMNT. Come on. We all know there's so many TMNT fans out there. Uh, I know I am going way back in the day. Um, however, they have been coming out with some newer ones. I can only say I've seen one of the newer videos, though, or movies. Um, it was pretty good. I haven't seen the new Ist ones, so I can't vouch for those. However, you know, just my overall nostalgic view of the Ninja Turtles drove me to make this guy. Let me remove his cool hat. And here is his bandana. So let's get a 360. As you guys can see in the thumbnail, this tip is going to be on armatures. So when I first started out, I had some questions regarding armatures and what to use and turns out they are super cheap and um, you know you can use several different things so um, a lot of some people use uh, metal armatures you know to hold a lot of weight um, some people use wire and uh, tin foil there's there's just so many options out there um, I'm gonna go over one of them I have used several different ones however as you see here uh, Raphael is sitting on a just a standard base that you can get at any craft shop. Um, it's in their like wooden section where they sell different cutouts of uh, wood. Um, so this one, I'm not even sure of the shape of it. As you kind of see, it's a little bit of a uh, angled cut, beveled um, stand. Uh, I'm not sure if they're used for like candle stands or what they're really used for to be honest, but they are cheap They run a couple dollars um, and then you can get them a little bit more um, On the pricey side, uh, not really pricey, but like this um, This is 11 inches by 11 inches. So this will run you about 10 bucks and uh, what I use for the center is I think they sell them as candlestick holders. I'm gonna show you a busk that I'm working on right now and it's kind of has it exposed so you can see it um, right here. So this is just a um, stand that I use for busts that are currently in progress and that I'm working on. I'll just give you a sneak peek. All right, he's done. Not the point of this video, however, uh, that stand that I just showed you runs three to five dollars depending on the height and uh, it's about eight inches approximately give or take uh, there's a smaller one that's more along the line of six inches that you can use um, at the very top of that uh, candle wooden stand is a little hole that you can insert a candle into um, sometimes I'll add tin foil there and uh, ball up some tin foil put it on the top of it kind of form it around the edges so that it holds in place. And then I'll even drive a screw down in it so that the tin foil stays. Once you put some clay on top of that, um, depending on if you're using air dry clay, which is what Raphael's made out of here, um, or wax based polymer, no matter what it is, it holds pretty well. And it's a super cheap base slash armature that you can use. Um, so before we get more into that, just wanted to give you a little bit of a 360 of Raphael up close here. He was a lot of fun to make. I did give him the uh, removable toothpick there. And I even questioned whether I was going to use an actual fabric for his bandana. Um, but I realized it wouldn't come out very well, so I sculpted it. Um, it was a little bit tough because I kind of had to make it, you know, appear as if though it was an external bandana and not attached to his face. So I had to raise the edges here, um, put a little bit of a, um, I don't know what you want to call it, separation in between the bandana and his face so it looked more realistic and then kind of made the, um, the ends of the bandana wavy as if though they're twisted up. And uh, I threw a shell on him too. So 
you don't see much of it when the bust is facing you. However, it needed it. And I know it's not a gigantic shell and he doesn't have gigantic ripped shoulders like he normally does, but you know, you gotta kinda tone it down when you're going for a little bit of size. Um, but I did make him out of DOS clay. And I know you've seen a couple other videos that involve DOS clay. Once again, he was one of the earlier busts that I made. And um, it was a fun project for sure, challenging. I, I definitely went into, I don't know if I can pick it up on camera very well. Um, I went into a lot of detail with the skin and the pores on him. Um, so to try and make some accuracy or realistic uh, skin texture there for him. Um, and it worked out, the clay actually held it well, you know, as it was drying, it was in its drying stage. I think I let the clay sit out for about a day and it doesn't fully, fully harden. It's at a state to where it can take little impressions and things like that. So at that point in time, you can use like you know, sponges or um, gritty material and kind of just pat it on him. And you can also use tools um, and make pores and wrinkles and stuff like that that way. Um, but it was about at the day sitting out mark when I decided to add the skin texture because it holds well. You know, if it's super wet and you try to add skin texture, it's, it's going to You'll notice that if you try that, it will, um, it won't make clean impressions because it's so wet. It'll kind of get a little mucky. So you want it to dry up a little bit. That's a tip regarding that. Um, but yeah, armatures can be made very cheap and they're very effective. Um, there is a candle stick as the one I showed you in that other bust um, under here. There's a lot of clay. This guy is really heavy. I used about five or six bricks of DOS clay to make him. Um, and that's 10 to 12 pounds. So he's got some weight on him. Um, go check out my other video with, uh, who was that? It, Pennywise, where you can see the DOS clay that I use and uh, you know, get a, get an idea of that product and um, the outcomes that you can make using it. So anyways, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tip regarding armatures. If you're starting out, you can do it cheap and the clay is pretty cheap too. It's five or six bucks. And if you use coupon codes, you get 40% off. So, you know, or actually it's about 10, 10 to 12. And then after the coupon, it's, you know, five or six bucks. So that's where that's where I got confused but yeah you can get for a really good price you know a bunch of clay and you can play around with it um, so yeah not a whole lot of information regarding this tip but it was one of those things that I had to find out for myself and uh, I just wanted to make it available for y'all so I hope you enjoyed Raphael give me a shout out share like, share, subscribe if you're a TMNT fan, and it give you, gives you a little nostalgia. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you all so much for joining in on another episode of Show and Tip. So, we appreciate you guys. Be good. Stay safe. Raphael. Alex Geyser. We're out. Peace.